Good morning, class 5-3. Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson in period one on Friday, December 4th, 2020. I hope everyone is doing safe and well. Today, we're going to have a test over helping verbs on pages 113 and 114 in your grammar workbook. Before taking this test, please go back and review all of the pages where we have studied helping verbs this week. That starts on page 109. Please review the points. Review the points on page 110. Review the point on page 111 on quotation marks. And please review the points on page 112. I'm going to read through each of the questions, so please listen very carefully. For part one, I'm going to change the directions. I'm going to say, circle and write the helping verb in each sentence. So you're going to circle it, and then you're going to write it, okay? Number one, native plants have disappeared from the bay. Two, Spartna has destroyed them. Three, the plants were growing too large. Four, they have crowded out the other plants. Five, we will try to solve the problem. Six, we will start tomorrow. Seven, we were looking for Spartna. Eight, I think we have found some. So remember, please circle and write the helping verb in each sentence. Part two, choose a helping verb from the box to complete each sentence. Some words may be used more than once. Here are the helping verbs. Am, is, are, was, were. Please listen as I read each sentence. Number nine. Yesterday, John and I blank talking about the environment. Ten. You blank telling everyone about Spartna. 11. Nick blank going to the bay with me. 12. My friends blank going to find Spartna plants themselves. 13. I blank Bringing my video camera. 14. The students blank looking everywhere. 15. I blank focusing the lens on some plants. So please remember, you may have more than one helping verb that can go into some of these sentences. When you have checked your answers, please turn to page 114. Listen very carefully as I review the points for this next activity. Point number one, helping verbs help other verbs show an action. Point number two, forms of have. Have, 
has and had are used with verbs ending in ed. Point number three. Forms of be. Am, is, are, was, and were are used with verbs ending in ing. Now, let's look at the mechanics. Use quotation marks at the beginning and end of a person's exact words. Use a comma at the beginning or end of a person's exact words in a quotation. Directions. Rewrite each sentence. Use the correct helping verb and the correct form of the action verb in the parentheses. Use quotation marks and commas correctly. One. I be people about Spartner, said Caitlin. Now the verb is tell, so you need to correct the incorrect helping verb, and then you're going to use the correct form of the action verb, okay? So some action verbs will have ed, ed, or ing, okay? You have to pay attention to the tense. Number two, Allison and Jackson, B, read a book. Three, Trina said, I have walked all the way home. Four, we be talk to a reporter, said Jane and Rob. Five, they have play basketball in the gym. Six, Mark and Jesse said, our class have learned about verbs. Again, please review all of the pages before you do this activity, and good luck. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Waterman at any time. If we have school next week, if we go into school, please make sure you bring all of your work with you, all of your grammar workbook activities. Please make sure you bring all of your jalapeno bagels activities with you, any other assignments like journals that you have, please bring it into school with you. Take care, stay safe and be well, and I will see you in just a few moments in period two. Bye-bye for now.